Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have Invincible Tim Duncan, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so as you know, you have to win this. This is the ultimate reward, right? 20,000 points is what I did. I'm, I don't do the other routes. I just do the, uh, the ultimate and get everything Thing through that whole journey um and i finally was able to get him and the cool thing is is that i really wanted 100 overall tim duncan because i felt like he was the best like power forward center card in the game and now that you can get him from um ultimate i think that um you know you definitely should try or at least try to get him because he's definitely gonna be a card you're gonna use all the way through i don't know what you know end game is gonna look like but this man right here has everything you want, all right? From a center perspective, power forward perspective, wherever you put him at, he's gonna be cooking with grease, all right? So we all know he's 6'11", 99, everything. Um, no need to look at either this right here. We all know what that is. Let's go down here and look at the tendencies. And one thing that really stands out is his contest is 90 and his block is 70 and his pass interception is 50. So they really gave him some, in my opinion, really, really good tendencies for a center that can also basically, you do any type of off ball and with, like I say, with this, with this card, they throw the ball at him, he's gonna catch it most likely. Um, if they shoot, he's gonna jump, right? You know, that type of deal. That's what you want to look for in your tendencies. Very important here. So again, very strong. Um, when we come over here and look at the badges, we all know that he has 70 badges. Again, so we don't have to look at that. 70 Hall of Fame badges. Um, the shoes, he has on his generic shoes from back in the day. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll keep those. I'm not going to really worry about changing anything. But if you want to see the actual badge count, I can show that to you. Some people are yeah, like that. But as you can see, 70 Hall of Fame, 70 go. Okay, so nothing out of the um, norm here. Pretty self-explanatory, just an excellent card. Let's go ahead and head over to the courts and look at these jump shots and animations. All right, so one thing that really stands out about him, obviously, is he had Patty Mills base with his own release. So that's why it makes this so, really, so good because two things. One, yeah, Patty Mills is gonna be the best release on the base on the game, but his, but Tim Duncan's release is high releasing. So now you have a very high releasing shot to where you don't have to worry about getting as much contest. But as you can tell, the shot is quick, so you wanna make sure you get that timing down. Um, I wanna say it's just as bad as um, Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice is still by far the fastest that we've had, but um, I use him too. So being to have Glenn Rice and Timmy on the court at the same time is gonna be insane, okay? Now, when it comes to his leaner, he does have Pro 2 leaner, which again is gonna be barbecue chicken. I really love Pro 2 leaner. Um, so again, I'm cool with that. His hop jumper is going to be Nikola Jokic. Again, he has, like I said, he has the best animations, man. The best of the best right here. So he has that. And then, of course, he also has pro spin jumper. So again, if you're looking to get that easy AI killer out the way, you can do that, all right? So again, the shooting aspect, everything about it is going to be barbecue chicken. Now, dribble style. He does have Kyrie Urban dribble style. So again, that's going to be really dope. Um, his behind the back, though, I do not know what that is. That behind the back, it says pro, but I do not know what that is. And I obviously, I wish it was, um, you know, Jamal Murray, but it's not. That's the only flaw in my humble opinion that I see because he does have John Wall cross. He has John Wall step back. He has Penny Hardaway spin move. Um, his combo move is Tim Hardaway. So he has a Tim Hardaway combo move. So again, it's just about trying to get that extra separation with the Jamal Murray. You know, that would be the only thing I, that I would be like, man, you know, I really wish he had. But, oh, okay, so he has the uh, LeBron James uh, aggressive combo move. So that's the LeBron James right there, which is kind of funny. Um, he has that. And uh, let me see, is that pretty much it? Well, let's see, what's the other one? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has the uh, Steve Francis right there. So he got the Steve Francis um, signature size up. So, yeah, this is, like I said, man, in my humble opinion, it is by far going to be the best card that we have, especially if you want to talk about for bigs, um, just because of the release is just like no one's going to be able like you can literally shoot over people. And if you have like a guard on you, you can literally just shoot right over them. Right. It is. It's just going to be so fun, man. So y'all let me know in the comment section. How far along are you into getting Tim Duncan or have you just said, you know what? I'm not going to get Timmy. I, I, he's too far. You know, I'm, I, like, I'm just not able to get him. You know, I don't I don't really play that many games. But let me know in the comment section. Are you trying to get Tim Duncan? or you're not and if you are how close are you to getting them but anyway other than that it's your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out